Hello there, fellow peasants. Uh, so uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, The Exorcist. Uh, it looks like there's a new 4K coming out this year, uh, which makes sense. Uh, this year is the uh, 48, uh, the 50th year anniversary of The Exorcist. Sorry, guys, I got I got a piece of fucking uh, glove in my mouth. Um, anyway, so yeah, so. I saw some article that came out. I'm a little late to the game. It looks like it came out uh, back in October, maybe, uh, that said that Warner Brothers is going to be releasing a 4K uh, edition of The Exorcist, which I'm super excited for. Uh, I will put the link in the description below for this video, so you can go check that out for yourself. Um, some people say this is confirmed. Some people say it's not confirmed. I don't know. There's just rumors in the air. This website seems to act like it's confirmed. Uh, and so I'm super excited. The Exorcist is my favorite horror film of all time. It is my second favorite film of all time. Um, man, I really hope they do justice on this transfer. The standard Blu-ray I have right now for the uh, 35th or 40th. No, I have the I have the 40th edition, 40th anniversary edition on standard Blu-ray right now. And they look excellent, they look freaking great. And so I hope uh, they do this justice. I don't want a bunch of tweaking. I don't want this to be, uh, I don't want those color graded like shit. I want the HDR to look nice. I don't want them to stray too far from what the Exorcist should look like. Uh, there is a problem recently. Uh, William Friedkin, as much as I like the guy, he, uh, recently went into the uh, studio and he recolor timed uh, the French connection and he uh, he screwed it up real bad you know what I mean it looks like all pastel -y, nasty took some of the detail out I'm really hoping freaking doesn't tinker too much with this this is a film you really don't want to mess with um, I'm hoping for a good color grade I'm hoping for uh, the quality the the picture detail to be upticked quite a bit. Uh, the film does and always has had a bit of a rough uh, graininess to it. Uh, that is the nature of the documentary style that Freed can use to shoot this film. Uh, but um, so I'm hoping maybe the 4K scan will just smooth out that grain. You're not going to get rid of the grain, obviously. This is a 50 year old film shot in the early 70s. But the grain can also be. Uh, smoothed out and refined and looked more like uh, grains of sand rather than um, what it looks like now and you see that a lot with a lot of older films where the grain is just nice and fine in the image uh, so I'm hoping that we get a theatrical version of this as well and not just a 2000 version uh, the version you've never seen. I used to really like that version, but now after seeing uh, the theatrical cut uh, four or five years ago uh, for the first time, I, I enjoyed the theatrical cut, theatrical cut far more. I don't believe the 12 minutes that was included in that version is uh, necessary. Uh, nothing is nothing super meaningful is added to the story in that. So, um, but I will be happy to have both versions in the collector's set for the 50th anniversary of this 4K. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I've been looking forward forward to it to quite some time. Sadly, it does come on the heels of uh, David Gordon Green's uh, The Exorcist reboot, requel, remake, whatever the fuck he thinks he's doing. Uh, it's disgusting that he's doing it. He shouldn't be doing it. Uh, the Exorcist doesn't belong in the hands of anybody, and in my opinion, not even William Friedkin should be touching The Exorcist. Uh, it was lightning in a bottle the first time it was made, and it does not need to be remade, reshot, sequeled, none of that. Uh, and I think even William Friedkin himself would not want to touch it again, uh, and he understands what it was and, and, and that it should not be uh, fucked with. Uh, but I'm super excited, guys. I'm really looking forward to a new 4K transfer of The Exorcist. I just really hope they don't let us down and screw it up and take things out and tinker too much with the film. Just give us the film as it is. Don't cut things out. Don't add things in. Just give us the film, but with better definition and richer colors. And that's all we can ask for. Just don't fuck it up. And so other than that, guys, have a good one. Um, 
I'm driving. I'm going to go pick up some Buffalo Wild Wings for dinner. And uh, so that's what I'm doing right now. If you wonder why I'm in, in my car right now, I'm going to go pick up some chicken. Uh, other than that, guys, have a good one. And peace out, peasants. Bye-bye.